Praise God. This is Dr. Zo once more. I just want to announce what you will get or what you receive as a benefit of my ministry from my daily broadcast in Spirit Word Ministry and my ministrations here online in YouTube and the rest of the social media. Exactly everything I do comes from the Word of God and of course, powered by the Holy Spirit. So that's why I call it Spirit Word Ministry. The power of the Word cannot be overestimated or overemphasized. The Word of God is the heartbeat, is the balance wheel, is the center of everything I do. And is the center of my calling. That's why it's called Spirit Word. We have the Word of God and the Holy Spirit. I'm led by the Holy Spirit. I'm empowered by the Holy Spirit. I'm directed by the Holy Spirit. I'm saturated and filled with the Spirit. And I believe in the move of the Holy Spirit. And all quality, the ministry, the graces, the giftings, the power, the leadership, the voice, and the glory of everything we do is powered by the Holy Spirit. He is the chief operating officer of the kingdom of God. And so the Holy Spirit will direct this ministry. That's why I call it Spirit Word. Both the Holy Spirit and the Word of God is central, is the heartbeat. And when we combine these two, it's explosive force in everything we say or do in ministry and in fact in this life. So this is what you're going to expect from my ministrations here online, especially if you're watching in YouTube or Facebook or other social media. I want you to know exactly what to expect from me because expectation is the breeding ground of miracle. And because the Spirit Word Ministration, number one, we're going to have in-depth teaching of the Word of God, the Word of Faith. Profound teaching. Very, very important. Even our Lord Jesus Christ, who is our parent son, who is our example, who is our role model, who we follow in ministry as his servant, always is the word of God. Jesus Christ is the word of God personified. He is the word of God living. In other words, he is the living word. The written word was given to us to know the living word. And everything we do is was based, Christ-centered, and worship-oriented. So we're going to have profound teaching and preaching of the Word of God. Because actually, after we are born again, we don't really need much preaching or any other thing. We need teaching to be grounded, to be rooted, to be established, and to know a lot about this life. We have to be in the Word of God. We have to saturate ourselves in the Word of God. We have to know the Word of God inside that. That's how our spirit will grow. You can't do ministry without the word. You can't progress without the word. You can't excel without the word. You can't succeed without the word. You can't live the Christian life basically as a believer or a disciple or a minister that has been called of God without the word. So it's the central and heartbeat of everything we do. So we need to teach the word of God as the center. And that's why it's the number one. It's primary. We focus on the word. Powered by the Holy Spirit, of course. Number two is effective, fervent, prevailing prayer. We believe in prayer. The word and prayer also go together. Of course, the greatest prayer is praying the Spirit and also praying the Word of God back to Him. So when we pray the Word, results terminate in source. Solution remove commotion and confusion. So our prayer is also word-based. And especially also praying the Spirit, praying in the Spirit, praying by the Spirit, praying through the Holy Spirit, and praying in the Holy Spirit. The third thing you will expect from my ministration and brokers will be prophetic ministration. Hands-on, one-on-one prophetic ministration with the revelation. And of course, prophetic declarations. Number three. This is where and how 
people call me most often. Which is a biggie. Dream interpretation and application. I think that's number four right now. I love to explain dreams, interpret dreams, and also apply dreams. How it applies to our lives. Because everything we do in life is conceived in the realm of the spirit. It's powered by the spirit. It's formed in the realm of the spirit. It's engineered and triggered by the spirit. Packaged in the spirit before it manifests in the natural or materializes or plays out in the natural world. So the real world is the spirit realm. The invisible rules the visible. The unseen rules the seen. The dream life rules what we call the real life. Actually, the dream life is the real life. And the life we see or the life we live in our waking moments is actually a carbon copy. So the dream is important and we take it very, very important. And I've been receiving question and answer concerning dreams. And I'll be doing the question and answer even in this session. You know, when people call me and so on, I'm happy to explain dreams. I've been interpreting dreams since 1994, to be precise, since February 1994. Number five point that we need to focus on is hands-on, miraculous healing and prophetic deliverance. This is the one we do physically in our location. In 3565 Road, Suite 1051, Marietta, Georgia, 30008. Very, very powerful. Without deliverance, miraculous deliverance and healing, you know, healing the body, healing, divine healing by that, of sicknesses, diseases, infirmities, afflictions. Very important. And this is hands-on because we also minister the power of the Holy Ghost. This is different from personal deliverance prayer or warfare prayer or, you know, people praying on their own or praying prayer points. Here we minister the power of God and the power of God is always on display and in demonstration. Apostle Paul said, I didn't come to you with enticing words of men's wisdom. I came to you by the Holy Ghost and demonstration of power so that your faith will not rest in the wisdom of men but in the power of God. Amazing. The, the sixth thing, or the sixth cardinal point that we need to examine, um, that you also need to benefit from my ministry, is counseling, discipleship, mentoring, and living wisdom. In other words, knowledge and wisdom for living. Very, very important. We need to counsel people who are according to the ministry, disciple them, mentor them, and also release them into their ministry. Some people are called, they don't know the area, they don't know the area of their graces or giving, uh, uh, gifting or special ability. So through the power of the prophetic word and leadership of the Holy Ghost and his inspiration and giving us the sea anointing, we can be able to release people into their prophetic destinies. And finally, you will experience a lot of breakthroughs a miracle of turnaround in all areas or in other areas. To wrap it up, this is exactly what you need to get from my teachings, from my videos, and from my presentations online. And that's why I call it Spirit Word Powerhouse Deliverance Ministration. And of course, healing and all that. Six facts and points are just sketched for you. Thank you. This is Dr. Jeff. Uzo, and then expect more and then call me 702-884-1334 God bless you and then you can also shoot me an email uzojeff at gmail.com I'll put it up right there at the screen and I will summarize all this so that when you call me you know what to expect God bless you, talk to you, bye bye